so by the end of this video you will see how I got from this to this Now I did the eyeliner and I did the mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Revlon uh, primer Revlon face primer and I'm going to use my brush my foundation brush so I like priming my face and then using a foundation brush to do that okay all right so all prepped up okay i like to prime here especially because we wear a mask so this area needs a lot of protection because our mask always take off the makeup okay and now I'm going to go ahead and put my Juvia's Place foundation focus focus Juvia's Place foundation and then uh, this is shade Putagana this is my actual shade okay so this this um it's so a uh, hot you call this uh, foundation has such coverage you can see don't mind the yellowish type I will work that later but you can see it has full coverage so I have terrible bad skin but recently I've been working on really sticking to one um, skincare routine so I'm not gonna change anything at all ever in my skincare routine because that's one of the reasons why maybe our skin break but to be honest I have this if you saw from the beginning of the video I have this uh, pigment like black dark pigment I don't know if it's a blemish but that happened maybe few years when I after a year I arrived in Japan that thing came because I think well, that's because Japan has like intense sun the sun is too much and now it's summer summer is starting so I'm not in the mood I'm not ready for um, for summer because it's so so hot and it's not easy to handle you know most people think oh my god you are black and stuff like that what do you mean japan is too hot it's too hot for me because my country is not that hot you know our summer is quite manageable and we have winter and many people sh get shocked when i say my country have winter like even people like even african people they get shocked like yeah i'm from the south and south we have winter so japanese winter with snow it doesn't shock me and i live in osaka so sometimes it doesn't snow yeah so it is really sad because i love snow because i grow up with snow you know <laughs> okay foundation done let's move okay. on okay so now that our eyeshadow is come out <laughs> okay so now that our foundation is done i'm going to go ahead and use this uh for concealer and contour this is actually uh very good i'm gonna use nepal to highlight highlight just a little bit because i don't want to make too much highlight and then 
We're going to use Nippon. Okay. I don't like to use too much. Okay. So let's go ahead and blend. Normally I use my beauty blender to blend. But I also use brush which I really love. So blend. The idea is not to look too white because this is like fond it's still like foundation though. So yeah, blending, blending. Okay. This is how I blend my under eye. Oh this the other side look much brighter. Okay. Okay, so when it comes to my nose, I'm going to use what is that brush? I'm going to use a brush here to blend that out. This is creamy, so it's really easy to work with. Okay, and then I want to take it towards my nose. Okay, all right, and then blend this nose part and then blend your forehead. Okay, that's how the blending goes here. Okay, nose go back, make sure it's well blended. Okay, let's blend everything and come back. So to be honest, now it's summer, so I don't like using uh, pressed powder or uh, what you call. I have here setting powder. I don't like because it falls apart a lot in summer, you know, when it's hot. So I rather use my contour and shade from Juvia's Place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use and the reason why I used I like this foundation stick to use the Mesa Contour and a highlighter it's because it's like foundation so you can easily blend them in and I just brighten up under my eye and the, this so I don't need setting powder you can use setting powder I use setting powder sometimes but I'm going to go ahead with my big foundation up uh, my big powder brush and just put it all over my face even under my eye so yeah okay I know most people are like oh my god you don't you don't set under your eye like I'm so done with this thing sometimes I just want the look I can just pop and walk out of my house and continue with life so I'm putting all this all over my face but I'm going to go back again with contour to put on the areas where I put my darker uh, shade Oh yeah. Okay. There, there, there. I know this doesn't make sense, but to me it does. I'm I'm trying to reduce a lot of things I used to do, like in my life, makeup routine, life. So I'm going to go ahead with my this brush, and I'm going to use the contour shade. Okay. Let's. Okay, first let's contour the nose. So I'm going to use the brush I used before. Okay, another side. Okay, okay. And I I like to push it back into my eye my eye here okay yes this looks pretty much how i want it to be and then take the bigger brush and push it this this area here 
I don't know if it makes sense on camera but it does make sense to me and then forehead forehead to bring back the warmth okay and then on the my chin because we were not confused man we <laughs> shade shade that part okay okay Okay. All right, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and use our uh, blush. I'm going to use the same, the same uh, brush. So I'm going to use my LA Girl uh, blush, br blush, uh, pinky, yes, pinky shade. So let's. I like blush and I like to put a lot of it. Okay. There it is. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like to put my blush right here. And I like too much brush. So I like to push it towards my hair. Like dirt. I like a lot of blush. Okay. I think this camera is gonna show exactly what type of person I am. I love, I love a lot of blush. I don't mind having too much blush. <laughs> okay. Yes, I like my pinky. Look at that. Look how pinky that is. <laughs> oh my god. Do I look like a clown though? Do I look like a clown? Okay. I love it. I love it. But don't worry, we are not clowning anybody here. And then to like smooth that out, I'm going back with my brush, my powder brush to like smooth out. So the pinkish doesn't look too harsh. I think this side it looks too harsh. Okay, so that's how it is. And I'm going to go ahead with my Juvia's Place highlighter. Okay, so beautiful. This is how it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to use the same brush. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want. I have the highlighter brush, this one, the fan brush, but I don't want to use that one. I recently I discovered using this big brush, so I'm taping inside my highlighter remove that and then highlight you gotta have like nice shine on your on your cheeks you know look at that okay that looks nice and then I'm gonna go ahead on my nose okay I love that I don't know if it makes sense on camera Oh, oh, that's, oh, look at that. It looks like it's coming naturally from your skin, okay? All right. Wow, well, I think that's it for the face. So, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and use my setting spray, MAC setting spray, okay? We are hitting pen here. It's almost finished. So I like to go ahead and use my fan. Uh oh, my fan is almost working. Oh, it's not working. Okay, let's come back in the flip side. Okay, our makeup is almost done. Yeah, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and use Maybelline uh, lipstick. Okay, lip ink. The brown. This color is beautiful. I don't use lip liners a lot. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Flawless victory. Okay, and then after that, I want to go and use my do my line under under eye so i'm going to use this pencil under my eye Okay, so that's how it looks like and I'm going to go ahead and use Oh, where is my eyeshadow palette? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and use a, this purple, light purple color under my eye to just set. It's the same purple as the pencil. To just set it. Yes, not all. Okay. Alright. And then after that, the last finishing touch will be the inner corner. The inner corner I'm going to use Juvia's Place. Uli. The silver color. Okay. Oh, this eyeshadow is so pigmented. Look at that. It's really a lot. Okay. Blend it. I like to blend it in so it can not look harsh. Okay. So that's how. It looks like so what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Okay guys, thank you so 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 much for watching today's video, even though I feel like it wasn't as hot. It wasn't as it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Oh, we are discovering new things here. Wait a second. Okay, I'm not done. Okay, beautifuls, it's so difficult trying to manage this new camera and trying to do everything. It's so, so, so difficult. But I hope this makeup video came out well. It was supposed to be get ready with me and then it was supposed to be life update, but I don't know what it's saving right now. But one thing that I can say is I'm really grateful at this point in my life maybe for some things that are happening. I know my life has been so stressful these few months. You know, April always come harsh on me like it's not my birthday. Maybe I need to reflect and find out if it's really my birthday, you never know. Because it comes really harsh. 
and I know every year in April I always struggle like there's always something going on that I'm not sure what what's going on but yeah yeah I'm glad it's over and my son is well and he's home and when it comes to my job I'm still trying to figure out stuff that are happening so yeah my life yes so I hope you enjoyed this video today because we're gonna try to make more videos moving forward although I'm still trying to figure out this camera the video look nice but the pictures I don't know how to take my own pictures with this camera you know it's really difficult but I'm gonna figure it out so everybody please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment and let me know if you need me to talk about anything in this channel because I wanna relate and I want to talk to people I want to you know serve <laughs> okay I'm still in my pajamas so yes pajama 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 <laughs>